Hello everyone, this is going to be for the Virgo peoples for the month of Jan 2023. So let's what you see for the Virgo peoples on the collective. We've got to be fair. Cancer also got that message. Deep knowing and the fates. So Virgo, this is basically saying me something is fated, positively fated in the month of January. Got a deep knowing about something. Something is brewing. It can be family, friends, or home. But it's asking you to be fair in this situation regarding the people, places, or situations. It's like it's asking you to have a fair outlook. What does Virgo need to know? Moon tree. Emergence. Yeah. The moon tree. I just want to quickly, excuse me, I apologize, but I just want to quickly see something about the moon tree. Because the moon tree is telling me, root it, root it. You need to stay rooted. You need to stay grounded. Moon tree. There's something about the moon tree. I apologize, no, Virgo. But there's something about the moon tree that I need to read for you. Hmm. Yeah. 49. Yeah. An old idea resurface. The moon is in alignment with your heavenly star. Conditions are now right for something that you've put aside. Nurture this idea into being with love and positive energy. You will achieve positive results. Now, with emergence, it's saying to me, stay grounded. Um, just hold on one second. I do not know why I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting intuitive. It's, it's about this. Um, but the thing is, it's a little bit complicated. The Virgo people are a little bit complicated. Okay. It might like feel like forces are beyond your control. Have thrust into unfamiliar territory. It is true. We cannot control all forces or situations. Whatever chaos reigns in your world, you can control your reactions and perceptions, your focus. Life presents constant opportunities to learn. Now, emergence. When I saw the scar, the intuitive hit that I got from emergence is saying to me, step out of something, get out of something, move out of something, be your own authentic self. And I just basically wanted to correct myself because this is what I got from this card. And with the moon tree, it said to me intuitively and psychically that have, you know, sturdy roots, stay grounded. With the moon, the moon is emotions. Now, whatever, like the book said, whatever might come up, emotions, feelings, thoughts, stay grounded. Be fair. Because something is fated for you, Virgo, on the collective in the month of Jan 2024. Listen and reach out. I'm going to read these two cards for you. You have to be willing to listen if you really want to understand someone. Now is not a not, now is not a time to be offering advice, but to be compassionate listener. To listen fully intently means to pay attention to not just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to your current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help we offer as it's about the emotional <coughs> benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. Something is fated on the Virgo Collective to happen in some area of your life. You either have got already a deep knowing about this through your dream state, through a psychic heat, through a epiphany. 
There is something it's asking you that is fated to be fair. Let's what you see with the angel tarot, the garden angel tarot cards. What does the Virgo people need to know? What does the Virgo people need to know? Inner strength. Five of emotion, embrace those around you, review and contemplation. Now, with these four cards, what I'm getting through this collective message is that stand tall, stay grounded, hold space for a person, be a listener. Be fair to that person, place, or situation. Embrace those around you that is always there to physically, mentally help you. Embrace those around you. Um, forgiveness is an important part of healing. So forgiveness, again, for some of the other star signs, forgiveness came up as well. I think it was Taurus, another earth element. Um... Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through a certain process of your life. I just, I want to see what is this fate about. But review and contemplation. It's asking you not to make a quick decision about being fair. It's asking you to review something within your life. It can be work, family, home. Um... Review, you've already accomplished a lot in your life, Virgo. And now is the time to decide what's next, where to next, what are we going to do. Be you, be the real you, be authentic, be a person with integrity, be fair. I just want to quickly see with the light seer's tarot. What do we need to know about to be fair? And what is fated? It's asking you to tap into your inner strength. And normally you are an earth element. And normally you are very grounded. Um... But the thing is now, let's really see the fates. We've got the King of Swords. This can be regarding a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person. This is a fated event, person, place, situation. Four of Cups, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. So, with some area within your life, it can be regarding friends, family, home, relationship. The, there was a missed opportunity that was not taken. For example, you didn't go to a baptism, you didn't go to a wedding, you didn't go to friends or family. And you or this person or place or situation might feel, I had a missed opportunity to say something, to do something, to be there. And it's showing me that Self-love, self-care is very important, but we've got the world, and with the world, this is number 21, and regarding numerology, it means a three. Now, three in numerology is coming together, standing together, working together, co-create, planning ahead. It's asking you not to, you know, look too much back into the past. It's asking you to gather this courage, this strength, to say something, do something. If you feel within your heart space, mind space, you had several missed opportunities. Because with the moon tree, it's saying me, the moon cycles and your earth element, You, for example, your moon sign can be in a water element. And it's asking you to stand firm, stay grounded. Because there's something within a family, home, career, situation, 
that you've already got a deep knowing and it's asking you to be fair. Embrace those around you. Cherish those around you. That's always been there for you. Reach out. Listen. Did you see? Getting together with friends. It's a good thing maybe. In the month of Jan. Dark women. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Yeah, you see. We've got a deep knowing and we've got the high priestess. Virgo, within yourself there is something you know. <laughs> Hermit, the Virgo card. You know. I'm just going to leave it at that. Let me know in the comments of what do you know about in family, home, career. Where you need to be fair. Let me know. Thank you. Appreciate. Bye.